This is the video for building your armature for your paper mache animal. You're going to need scissors, tape, newspaper, I also like packing paper, cardboard, and images of the animal you want to do. You could print them out or you could leave them on your computer, but you want a front and a side view, front and side. It helps to know where you want to have the wall or where you want to have it to sit also. So I'm going to do this uh, Highland cow picture. And I really like to just mark where the wall is going to be for my sculpture. It just kind of visually helps me plan it out. And then I like to trim my cardboard and just round off the edges since animals don't really have sharp corners. And then I start with either packing paper from like a box I got in the mail or just newspaper. For your newspaper, you want to separate it into single sheets. This way it lasts longer and it will actually make your sculpture be nice and light. You wouldn't want to use multiple pieces not separated. And then you just take your newspaper and tape it down onto the cardboard to get started. It helps to have a bunch of pieces of tape just ready to go on like the edge of the table. And also don't forget your half foot from the wall goal. So I check as I go to make sure my project is going out from the wall enough. Use your image to kind of map out the main areas first. So my Highland cow has this kind of big forehead area. So I'm going to start with adding that on. And now next I'm going to build up the nose or snout area. So just the main areas first. Really anchor the main parts on well. Sometimes you need to do a little smushing to kind of get the paper to go how you want. And then I just kind of keep crumpling and building. It's pretty rough at first. Doesn't look like an animal at all yet, and that's okay. Just keep checking your references. My sculpture is about as big as my hand on the back. Just make sure you're not making your sculpture too big or too small. Sometimes they get really, really big, or sometimes they're just very, very small. So now I'm just adding crumpling taping and adding more pieces, kind of smushing it into the shape I want. Uh, I'm going to try to make a little bit more specific form for the mouth. So since the nose and the mouth are smaller, I ripped the paper to make a smaller crumple section. And for the lower part, the lower lip area, I kind of made a little bit longer, thinner crumple. And see how I've made a little gap in between the nose and mouth. So now I'm going to add the ears. The ears are very flat actually, so I, I do paper folding for ears. So make sure you think about whether that part of the animal should be like a thicker crumple or a thin folded piece of paper. So thin for the cow's ears. Folding another ear. And I kind of tape it together so it stays that shape. And then I anchor it on. I also really like to fold the paper to make a bridge of the kind of forehead or nose. It really helps visually like see where the center of the animal's face is. And it also makes the eye sockets a lot easier to make realistic eyes. So it kind of makes uh, an eye socket there. And every once in a while I take a really long piece of tape and I use it to kind of scrunch or hold places together. And you're, you don't, you want to use your tape wisely because you might use the whole roll of it. But it is good to sometimes use the longer strips of tape 
to really hold the form that you want. So now I'm just kind of at the point where I keep building and refining, keep looking at my picture, keep checking, is it half foot from the wall? Checking the side view really helps. Okay, I need to add the horns. So if you have wire left over, I like to use wire for the horns, but you could also use cardboard. You could make the ears out of cardboard also if you want to do it that way. And I just kind of twist the wire together and try to kind of, I kind of tucked it in here so that it, it's nice and anchored. I can uh, tape it on so it stays. And I felt like the they were a little short, so I added, I even twisted a little bit more wire on the horns to make them a little bit longer. And then it's just really easy to form them. And now I take the tape and the newspaper and wrap it around the wire. Otherwise, when I paper mache, it would just be as thin as the wire. So adding newspaper will kind of bulk the horns up a little bit more. But just think of if there's a place where wire would help with your animal or would cardboard help with that part of your animal. Eventually you won't see the armature anymore so it doesn't really matter if it looks like there's part cardboard, part wire. So now I'm just refining. I just spent 15 more minutes working on it. It's looking a lot more like a Highland cow now. The side view looks way more accurate form. I have the eye kind of set up in there. I also did a layer of single newspaper to cover up my gaps and smooth. But the nose is still kind of hard to see, so I'm going to show how to use some cardboard for more definition. So I'm kind of drawing out the nose, kind of sketching, trying to sketch the general shape that I see. I cut it out of cardboard. And this just visually helps and I tape it on. So then as I'm paper macheing, it's a lot easier for me to see what's going on in the nose area. Just a little double stick tape on there. Put my nose on. And then I'm gonna do the same with the lower lip because I can't really see where it is anymore and it's a lot easier if I can see it with the little cardboard shapes. I need to build the area up a little bit more though, I notice. I'm building it up a little more and then I can add that lower lip on. So make sure you don't have any holes or gaps. Just cover it with a sheet of newspaper. Otherwise, it'll be really hard to paper mache if there's a bunch of holes and gaps. I smooth the horns out more. You want your armature as detailed as you can before you start paper macheing. The more accurate your armature is, the easier the paper mache part is. Um, and then at the end, I just take a few more long pieces of tape to just really hold things together so that, again, it's easier for me to paper mache later. So I have these long pieces here to just kind of help hold everything together. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to paper mache your animal.